hello guys uh, welcome back to my youtube channel so today we are going to discuss one of the most asked google interview question so the question is uh, maximum length of semi decreasing subarrays so the question states that uh, you are given an integer array nums return the length of the longest semi decreasing subarray of nums and zero if there are no such subarrays a subarray is a contiguous non empty sequence of elements within an array a non empty array is semi decreasing if its first element is strictly greater than its last element so uh, what we are on to find is the maximum length of the subarray for which the first element is strictly greater than the last element so here in the given example we can see that if we consider this sub subarray starting from 7 and ending at 6 then for this subarray uh, like first element is greater than the last element like 7 is greater than 6 so this we can consider our answer and its length is 8 so 8 is our answer we, if we consider some other subarrays so suppose if we consider this subarray for this also first element is greater than the last element but its size is 6 but we want the maximum size so here uh, like answer will be 8 similarly for this case uh, like this if this is the given array then we can see that from 61 to 60 uh, the size is the maximum and uh, first element is greater than the last element so this is the condition that for any subarray first element must be greater than the last element and then we have to return the maximum size of that subarray <coughs> for this we can see that uh, like there is no subarray which can be found for which the first element is greater than the last element so answer is zero so i hope you have understood the question and here uh, nums length is given as 10 to the power 5 and each element goes from minus 9 minus 10 to the power 9 to 10 to the power 9 so as n is 10 to the power 5 so we can go up to maximum n log n like we cannot go to on square solution so let's understand how we'll approach this solution so suppose this is the given array like which was given in our example number one and these are the indexes of this uh, array now what we want is uh, for any element suppose we consider any element for any element we want what is the uh, what is the element which is smaller than this element but is farthest from this element so what we will do is we will start from the back side and we will start iterating from right to left so uh, initially 11 we will it and we will also maintain a deck array in which we will store uh, the elements in the decreasing order so let's see what happens so first of all 11 will come and 11 will see that deck is empty uh, so for 11 uh, like nothing can be done here so we will insert this 11 into uh, this deck and we will also insert its index so 11 9 will be inserted inside this deck then 10 will come so we will check uh, like whether 10 is smaller than the last element or not so yes 10 is smaller, smaller than the last element so we will store 10 here and its index also similarly for 6 now first I am telling how we will build this deck array for 6 6 is smaller than 10 so 6 and 7 will also come here then 1 1 is smaller than 6 so 1 and 6 will also come here then 2 2 is not smaller than 1 so nothing will so all these elements are greater than 1 so nothing will come after this uh, in this array so we can see that this array will be sorted in decreasing order so what we will do is uh, like initially uh, in our iteration only uh, suppose through our iteration we come on to 6 so before inserting this 6 we have these two elements 11 and 10 and then we will do binary search on this first elements and we will see whether uh, we will find uh, like whether there is any element with the uh, which is smaller than 6 and which has the maximum second value the second values you can also see that these are also uh, sorted in decreasing order so we want the leftmost value uh, for the element which is smaller than 6 so we'll do the binary search and then we can return our uh, index like we can find the index for which the element is smaller and the index is greater so we will then take the difference of this uh, two indexes and then we can find so suppose we want to find for five for five this these all elements will get inserted and for five uh, we will see that uh, this is the element which is smaller than five so here what we will do is uh, we will check uh, the difference between 2 and 6 is 4 plus 1 5 so there are 5 uh, from 5 we can say that there is an subarray of uh, length 5 
so in this way we will update our answer uh, to 5 and then we will come at 6 at 6 we will see that uh, one mi 6 minus 1 is 5 plus 1 6 so there are 6 element 6 uh, sub array length from then we will come to 7 and from 7 we will find that uh, this is the element which is smaller and uh, here uh, like maximum uh, sub array is uh, 6 <coughs> so maximum sub array is uh, we can like here uh, we will consider this one because uh, 6 is smaller than 7 but uh, the maximum index we want so 7 minus 0 is 7 plus 1 8 so our answer will come as 8 so in this way we will get our answer so let's go to the code so initial initially we will set n as the num size and then we will define one dec vector and uh, from there we will start iterating from the back side of the given array and uh, we will store the value in time what is the current value and then we will do binary search while low is less than i so we will calculate the mid value and then we will compare if it is uh, less than the mid value then it means that this is not our answer so we will have to like we want to now uh, like decrease the <coughs> value and in order to decrease the value we will have to move to the right because this is a decreasing array so we will move to the right here i can also say move to the right of deck and here we will and if temp is already greater then we will move to the left of deck because if answer is already found then we want our answer to be the maximum so we will have to move to the left because towards the left side uh, the index value is increasing like 9 is greater than 8 so in this way uh, we will find and uh, yeah uh, we will also update our answer when it is found so we will take the difference plus 1 and we will check the maximum value and then finally we will return our answer so this will like each iteration of this loop will take a log n time because we know binary search takes log n time so this total time complexity would be n log n and let's try to run this code and see whether it works fine or not so the test cases are getting accepted and then we will submit the code and it is got accepted so yeah it's working fine so <coughs> i will attach this uh, solution code in the comment section of my video and I will also attach the description and uh, question link uh, in the description section of the video. So I hope you have understood the question. So stay tuned for more such important data structure and algorithm questions. Thanks again and have a nice day.